After the spot drill, I'll need to use one of the peck drilling cycles to drill the holes. If you have ever drilled a hole using a drill press, then you most likely have peck drilled apart. Peck drilling is a process of drilling into the material, backing off the drill to break the chip, drilling a bit deeper, backing off the tool again to break the chip, and so forth, until a hole is finished. Peck drilling cycles ensure that the drill chips break into manageable lengths. First, I'll copy the spot drilling toolpath, as I did before with the contour toolpath. I'll select the parameters for the copied toolpath and the tool tab. Now I'll select a letter I drill as the cutting tool. By going to the tool filter list as I've done several times, I'll select none as the tool type followed by selecting drill. Then in the tool diameter drop down list I'll click between, enter 0.27 and 0.28 as the values and accept these search parameters. Now I can select the letter I drill and accept the selection. The speeds and feeds are fine but I'll update the description to state drill 5 sixteenths 24 tapped holes. I'll select the cut parameters and from the drop down list I'll select the peck drilling cycle. Here the only option not grayed out is the pecking amount. This is the amount of material to remove with every peck as shown here. The default value is 0.1 and this will work nicely for most drilling instances. There is no easy formula to calculate the pecking size as it directly relates to how the material being drilled forms chips. For example, cast iron breaks into nice small chips and the pecking value can be quite large. The main goal when determining the pecking size is to avoid long stringy chips that wrap around the cutting tool forming a bird's nest. This will scratch the surface of the part and ca can cause problems with the tool changer or cut someone's hand when removing the The peck drilling cycle will feed from the retract plane, as shown here, into the part by the pecking amount, currently at 0.1. Then wrap it out of the hole to remove the chip. Wrap it again back into the hole close to the depth it last drilled to. How close is set? in a machine parameter which is often set to 0 0.025 or 0 0.05. It then feeds into the part through the air the amount the parameter is set to and then into the part by another pack increment. After each pack it will wrap it out of the part to the retract plane. This cycle will continue until the hole is drilled to the final depth. In a few lessons I'll explain in greater detail the difference between the peck drilling and the chip break cycles. The peck drilling cycle is the safest choice when you're uncertain of how the material will form chips. I'll select the linking parameters and click on the depth button so that I can select the depth of the hole from the part. I'll select a feature on the bottom of the part to set the depth to negative three quarters of an inch and return to the parameters window. Currently, only the tip of the drill will go to negative three quarters depth. This is not the desired result. This part requires the drill to go through the part. In the next lesson, I'll explain tip compensation settings and simulate the